pretty busy show. I've been talking to a lot of press analysts and customers, and two, two topics seem to be coming up in the routing and switching domain. The first one's really around 40 gig and 100 gig. Uh, the second one is around what's the right architecture for packet transport replacing next-gen Sonnet SDH. And that, that we've been talking about IP over DWM for that subject. So on the first one, the, the main question I'm getting is, hey, we've seen some 100 gig demos. Uh, does that mean the 40 gig market is toast? Are, are folks going to go straight from 10 gig to 100 gig? And the answer we've been giving our customers and the press and analysts is absolutely not. Um, right now, if you look at what's going on in the standards bodies, the IEEE is shooting for a standard around 100 gig to be done in June 2010. Right? So while all, the, all, all of these companies, including Cisco, are putting R&D dollars into 100 gig, we know that the 40 gig market is pretty significant. And we're going to see, uh, we, we believe that customers, due to bandwidth, uh, bandwidth uh, uh, requirements from video, uh, are going to need to move the 40 gig and that it's going to be a pretty robust market. And actually that, that leads pretty well into the next topic, which is 40 gig IP over DWDM. This is a leadership position Cisco holds in the industry. We're the only ones to deliver 40 gig IP over DWDM. And what IP over DWDM is, is instead of taking a router, putting out a short reach wavelength into a cross connect, then going into a transponder to convert it into a different color, and then going into a DWDM system, we actually integrate that capability into the router. So now the router spits out a colored wavelength right into the DWDM system. And we're really seeing good traction around 10 gig IP over DWDM and 40 gig IP over DWDM. And we think that this is really the, the right architecture for providers to build their next gen networks by eliminating lots of layers of technology uh, in between the router and the DWDM system. And that will save costs, that will save power, making it more green, and it'll be removing active elements from the network, which makes it more reliable. So there's a lot of benefits uh, to IP over DWDM, and that's uh, one of the key things I've been talking about.